The London-based cigarette maker is listed on the New York Stock Exchange and by default, BAT is subject to the U.S. Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. In essence, that law prohibits use of inducements to influence decisions and win business deals. Several U.S. lawmakers feel the cigarette company has a case to answer. Nine members of Congress have made a complaint about BAT, Britain's fifth biggest company, and are now calling for a probe following allegations that the company bribed officials and politicians in Africa to undermine UN health campaigns and put rival companies out of business. Because it looks like corruption, doesn't it? It looks like corruption. Listen, man, you are now upsetting me because I did not receive any ticket or any money. Claims that BAT ran a systematic bribery syndicate in Nairobi is likely to unearth fresh details on the so-called cigarette scandal, which has already entangled five high-ranking Kenyan officials. I never discussed or provided any information regarding KRA on any government contracts to Paul Hopkins or indeed anyone else. He wanted a flight to London for his wife. BBC in its investigative show Panorama and UK's independent newspaper reported that BAT executives paid bribes to former Trade Minister Moses Wetangula, former Justice Minister Martha Karua, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, KRA Director Mary Mukindia and Julia Del Owino, who is said to have facilitated the payments while working at BAT. I find the allegations that the same trip was funded by some private corporate, which is BAT in this regard, new setting unfortunate, scandalous, malicious, and slanderous to the extreme. The congressmen who have written a letter to the U.S. Justice Department dated February 3, 2016, are lawmakers from Texas, Massachusetts, Oregon, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Michigan, and New York. They have said in the letter, we encourage your agency to thoroughly investigate the facts to determine the extent and nature of BAT's illegal activities. End of quote, Dennis Okari, NTV.